okay, let's create a template in Reaper for doing uh, amp captures for the neural amp modeler. Um, basically, I found a, a pretty quick way to set up a, a template uh, so that you can make amp captures and um, test them out and uh, then save the template and keep reusing it and hopefully it'll allow you to make captures quickly and export them quickly for use in the trainer. Um, so what I like to do is organize my sessions with essentially folder tracks and so uh, I like to create those to start with um, and name them. Okay, and then after getting my four major categories, I like to come in and color the tracks. Um, I just kind of like have a standard way I, of colors I like to use. You can use, you know, obviously whatever colors you like. Um, and let's see a couple more here. I like to do this first because with Reaper, it will color all of the uh, child tracks the same color, which is kind of cool little bit of a shortcut okay and I'm gonna drag this guy in here just because he ends up being part of test and check <clears throat> and so I'm going to need an additional five tracks to house the audio and I'm gonna be creating here and um, so we're going to capture, capture my angle special edition, if I can spell. Track to put the NAM plugin on. Uh, and then this will be for uh, testing out <clears throat> our source amp and comparing it against the model once we're all completely done. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is pull in the training track, the training audio, I should say, which I've got right here. Go ahead and zoom out. So I like to pull this a couple bars off of the start. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier for me. Shift double click to make a time selection. Uh, the exact same size as that audio file and then right click here down on the record button and select time selection auto punch. So that way we only record into that time selection. Um, that's gonna help when we render out, it'll be exactly the right size. Um, okay, now let's do some routing. So for uh, this track, uh, you know, uh, the training track, I don't want to hear it, so I take it out of the, the parent send that's going to the master track. And then I add a hardware output, I have, uh, output three of my interface dedicated and going to a reamp box which is then going to my amp so I go ahead and select that and you know if you don't have a reamp box you can bump up the the audio right here you can bump this up all the way if you want to get as hot of an output as possible especially if you're doing high gain amps that's what you're gonna want um, or at least like I said a reamp box with a, a volume adjustment on it so you can get as much output as possible because line level out is not the same as as guitar uh, instrument uh, level out um, good so that's the training track so now the output for our amp capture track we also don't want to hear that so we're, we're gonna remove that um, let's see what else output wise. So we are going to need our raw guitar track. Also, we don't, we're not going to want to hear that when we're testing out our source amp. Uh, but we are also going to need that to go out of output three because it's essentially letting us, um, send our raw guitar signal. If it's plugged into input one here, it'll go out output three to our amp. So we can actually play through the amp if we want to see how that, uh, how, the, how it sounds. Okay, now I like to set up, um, let's see, inputs. Let's go ahead and do inputs. So I'm going to come into input two on my interface out of my load box that the amp is connected to. Uh, so let me set this track, the, the actual capture track to that. And also we'll set the source amp 
as well, because when we test this guy out, we're going to want to hear, um, you know, what's coming out of the, the load box through input two. So, uh, now we'll throw down some plugins on a couple of these tracks. Uh, you know, we're going to do the uh, NAM plugin here. Good. And then we're going to, uh, throw in an IR loader. I like the Libra IR loader. Um, choose a different uh, thing here. So the one thing I'm going to do really quick is I also want this IR. I'm going to want the exact same IR uh, on my source amp track. So I drag that down to the FX. So it loads it automatically with the exact same settings onto my uh, source amp. So now when I go and listen back to this, when I record arm it, uh, if I want to hear how my source amp is sounding, it's going to have the same IRs that I'm testing through neural amp modeler. Uh, you know, so that way, um, I can compare the source amp to the, the modeled amp once I've done gone through the training and everything, which I'm not going to go through all that in this video. This is just about creating the template. Um, great. So now we've got our plugin set up. Um, what else is left? Let's see. Um, plugins, outputs, inputs. I think we're pretty good. I think at this point you just record arm and then you would come down here and click record to get a record pass started. Okay, now that we've finished our record pass, uh, you can see we have the uh, reamped uh, training track now uh, set up on our Engel SE670 track. And so what we would do from here in order to, to uh, then train the model is you would leave this selection exactly the way it is, make sure this track is selected, then you'll go to render, You'll come up here and you make sure you sec select the selected tracks item. You'll also want to make sure you select the time selection to make sure you get the right size uh, audio file after the render's done. You'll then name the file here, choose uh, output directory if, you, uh, if you'd like. Um, come down and, and make sure, this is critical, has to be a 48K sample rate, has to be mono. Um, and then you'll want to come down, it needs to be wave, 24-bit. You can turn off the extra beat up, excuse me, BWF chunk. Uh, and then you're ready to render. You'll just click render. Uh, the render dialog will come up. And you'll get your rendered output file wherever you select. And then you're ready to train. So that's pretty much it. Now you save this as a, a session. And anytime you want to do amp captures, you'll just come in, add a new track, you know, make sure you drag it into the right spot. And now, you know, if you can spell better than me, you can go ahead and train another uh, amp or do multiple passes of your, your uh, whatever your first amp was. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helps out someone.